Hi, I'm back. It's 11, 12 a.m. Well, I finally, I mean, before letting me sleep, they vibrated me. Um, like, <clears throat> after my last video that, that I did, they vibrated me <clears throat> really bad. And um, then after 4 o'clock, I, I guess I fell asleep. And I don't remember how many times I woke up, but um, I was able to sleep from about four or um, from about, hold up, they got this one gross ass gnat that keeps on harassing me. Um, a big gnat, not a small one. But, um, So, well, I was trying to say that, um, I <coughs> slept from about 4 o'clock till a little after 10.30. So, um, it's like, wow, they did that again. Like they can, they try to dictate and control when you're allowed to sleep and wake up. You, you know, they're that controlling <clears throat> that they have, they have the say so of when you can sleep and when you can wake up or when they want you to wake up <clears throat> or if you're not allowed to sleep. <clears throat> Some targeted individuals are forced to sleep more that ex and and they said that the reason why they want you on medication so bad well for one so to blind you from um to try to silence and blind you and mute you from um any abuse that they inflict on you <clears throat> and then also um they they want to they want to um, silence, silence you from speaking out, and they, you know, they try to make you a zombie so you can't even think properly. But I feel like a zombie when I'm sleep deprived. <clears throat> so um, and, and then, so that you know, they want to blind you from what they're trying to do and trying to kill you. As I said, if I would have stayed on those psych medications, I would have been dead a long time ago. How in the fuck would I be starved? Starved. Not totally starved, but have extremely limited food portions, like a child-sized food portion for meals. And in 18 days, gain... 55, 55 pounds from psych medications. Nobody was allowed to be greedy up in that mental hospital at Mayhill Hospital in Denton, Texas. <clears throat> you, you know, they, they, they treated, they wanted to handle everybody like a diabetic. And, um, you know, but the food wasn't even really healthy. You know, it was just small portions of regular food that was bland. <clears throat> but they didn't feed you like organic, healthy, nutritious food, like salads and stuff like that, really. I don't remember them doing that, you know. They fed you, fed you the same doggone cornflakes or whatever, you know, or, or I don't remember exactly what they had, but <clears throat> they treated you like you were, treated everybody like a diabetic. <clears throat> so... People stereo, even though certain psychiatric medications did make you eat more, but even in 2006 in New York, I was, that was the first time I blew up and became like 300 pounds, over 300 pounds, like 304, and I was walking 60 blocks a day or walking like three hours a day, <clears throat> walking three hours a day and eating only salad, I mean only lettuce once a day. 
and still just gaining and gaining and gaining more weight for the medication. And so somebody see in New York, see you, I mean, I'm sorry, somebody in society see you obese and overweight. And the moment you put a piece of food to your mouth, oh, all of a sudden you, you're fat and greedy and need to put the fork down and stop eating. <clears throat> you know, rather than realizing you don't have to eat shit. You can be starving and still gain and gain and gain rapid weight on those psych medications. <clears throat> so the foster mom, she used to, um, you know, force us to see a psychiatrist and take medicine. And we didn't even, we didn't even have to eat like a pig. But she would blame us for our own weight gain. That was a side effect of that medication. <clears throat> you know? But there were certain medications that make you eat and 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 and you never and and you just constantly hungry. Trazodone was one of them. I would eat my sleep like 18 hours a day and miss classes, miss school and college. And then um, I would eat myself to sleep and then wake up with severe badass acid reflux. So, um, now, I mean, I told y'all my problem is, um, I need to back away from desserts, but, um, I eat them like, it's mainly been ice cream ever since earlier this year, you know, from being bullied online. So, um. So that caused me to be super depressed and I was eating ice cream almost every day. And now I've been and I and you know I think that's was one of the reasons why I've been keeping on weight. <clears throat> you know, so <clears throat> but sometimes I I have like yesterday I had two cookies, but I did oh yeah, I did. But it was a very small one of ice cream. But most of the time, I might eat one dessert a day, almost every day, but not every single day. But um, I think that's my problem right there. And certain things I have been eating, like for breakfast, eating grits, eggs, sausage, and biscuit, and waffle, or... I mean, that was a... You know, at Waffle House, that's a a meal, you know. And you save a lot of money, you know, when you do it that way. You get an extra... um, you, you know, you don't have to pay that much extra for a waffle when you get that meal. So, or if I go to this restaurant or that restaurant, you know, I've been trying to look for some healthy oatmeal. They don't have it much. So, if I would eat, like, pancakes at whatever restaurant, you know, pancakes and sausage or something. And so, I, I mean... The sweet, I think, is um, keeping my weight on. But today I said no chocolate milk for me today. I mean, but I, I, I backed off on, like, when I first um, started working at the school, I was drinking the chocolate milk, like, I guess almost every day for, like, a week or two. But then I stopped. <clears throat> and so um, then I had some yesterday, and I felt guilty. But any other time, I'm like, I seldom, I almost never, or I seldom drink chocolate milk. You know, so, um, and being on the streets, I heart, I very seldom had milk, period. But I had, you know, ice cream, but not just regular milk to drink. <clears throat> so, um, and I would drink that pasteurized whatever fruit juice with my breakfast, you know, when I would be out on the streets and stuff like that. <clears throat> so um I'm just tired of being cussed out nowadays recently I've been tired of tired of being cussed out every day by the by the perps and called gr- fat and greedy and stuff like that and, <clears throat> and and um being just ridiculed I'm like what do y'all want me to starve myself <clears throat> you know it's just like a, and, and that you know have some people who who are they're fat too and trying to call me names 
you know, so, um, I realized that yesterday, and wait, let's see, mm, I don't recall spending any money on Monday either, but definitely yesterday, I know I didn't spend any money, but I don't think I spent money on Monday either. No, I don't think I spent any money on my two days. I didn't have to spend. I didn't spend any money. And um, what else was I gonna say? I I something else I was gonna say, but it slipped my mind. <clears throat> but I'm about to brush my teeth with my little solution again and see if it will help. You know? Oh, damn. That fly is, that gnat is um, terrorizing me. I, w I can't get this place clean like I want it because I need a, um, I need, I wish there was a Dollar Tree around. I don't know if there is, but um, I need like a cheap dollar um, drum and dustpan and a little mop and a small little bucket to, um, you know, clean the floor. And also the refrigerator up in here. You know, I got the toilet and the sink clean, tub and everything. I had to do that myself. You know, just trying to make myself comfortable. But, um, I was thinking, you know, the online purpose recently come <clears throat> on my um, channel to um, confront and harass me, you know, about my and that got me down lately again you know about um you know them they don't know because they weren't there but my twin sister she only makes those false accusations when she's mad at me or when we get into an argument one time she lied and said that i threw a raven across the room no, nothing such happened i mean no such thing happened you know that I never threw Raven across the room. I never molested Raven. I never done Raven anything bad. I never violated Raven. I never treated Raven mean or nothing like that. And Raven is special needs and disabled. You know, so... <clears throat> My twin sister thinks those lies are funny. I mean, she still dealt with Toya and Wyatt. After she lied and said, well, I don't know if she was lying or telling the truth, but she accused them of overdosing, repeatedly overdosing the kids with Benadryl. <clears throat> she didn't have her husband, Dwayne, locked up when she tried to say that he um, molested her, her daughter, Raven, and Joni's kids. She didn't have him locked up or put away from that. He was beating on her during the marriage and when she was pregnant. Beat her upside the head with a wrench. And she took him back like numerous times. And people didn't understand that logic, you know. <clears throat> so, I, I'm pretty sure, I think I mentioned this before, that if somebody who you accuse of molesting your kids, why would you call them up desperately begging me to take your kids in? And I said, remember when you told me that you didn't want me to get pregnant and I, you didn't, that, you know, you didn't want, like, you didn't think I had the mentality to take care of my own kids. So why would you want me to take your kids in? And, and why, you know, you falsely accused me of molesting your kids. So why you, like, I was in um, Denton, Texas when it was like the beginning of 2010. And I don't remember if it was before or after I, I visited her. And that was the trip when she tried to blackmail me and try to, um, you know, try to threaten me, you know, to go to a um, lesbian strip club. And then told me, well, I'm not going to give you a ride back to the Greyhound station. You're going to find your own way. Well, that didn't work. So she really said, tried to force me the next day to go to the fake IDMR cult. And, and, and I mean, and, and that Sunday... They kept getting on her case because they said the kids were too loud and she couldn't control her kids and stuff. And they were too loud and crying and whatever and hyperactive, bouncing off the walls. She must have been feeding them so much damn sugar, you know, processed food and stuff. That was why they were hyper and bouncing off the walls. But, um... 
So it's like, I really feel bad. I, I think about those kids a lot and, you know, hope that they're okay and hoping that they don't have, like, a damaging abuse story. You know, I couldn't get to have any kids of my own. I always wanted to be a married wife and mother. Ever since a child, I always wanted to be a married my wife and mother. And I wanted to be successful. And I thought that once breaking away from the foster mom and turning 18, I thought my life would be better. But I didn't realize I would be a grown woman with all my rights and freedom and deprived from me and everybody still trying to order me around and control me and think they can handle up on me like a child. <clears throat> so, um... It's like Alex Dupree brags all the time about how he's, um, you know, made everybody in Pensacola hate me and um, treat me a certain way. And in the certain restaurants I would go to, he'll be lurking around, hanging around there at that near that restaurant before I before I even go there in the morning for breakfast. So then. Y'all get mad at me for going, um, y'all get mad at me for trying to take an Uber to go to a different part of town to try to get away from them. Since I can't take the buses no more. So, um, yeah, I'm questioning why would my twin sister, why would she make up lies and she tried to say on on a you on, on that one one some one person's YouTube video. She tried to say, I, "I know Candy more than everybody. Nobody knows Candy like I do. We may be twins, but you're basically like a stranger to me now. You haven't been around me in all these years. But um, you know, if you knew me well enough, I'm surprised that you would even think that I would do, do any, any of these things, you know, to your kids. But the thing is, I figured that, um, I figured that she was doing this on purpose, to, you know, for, to try to frighten and intimidate me and thinking that she can use, like, every time we get into a new, ar every time we get into a new, I mean, an argument, there's a new lie created about me. Like, she tried to lie. One time we got into an argument, and she tried to lie and say that I was in the closet with the foster boy, Cody, molesting him. The foster mom, would I would have been in, put in jail a long time ago. Because even in 2006, the foster, the foster mom and the foster sister, Shelly, would throw their kids or the foster kids or whoever and throw them on me to ba have them babysit me and say, oh, I don't trust you. You're going to hurt my, you're going to hurt these kids. But but then you you want me to take your kids to school every day with my car for free. No, you don't pay any gas money. And the one time Shelly did pay me gas money was, yeah, a measly ass $5 with all that work I've been doing. And then tell me, and you better make sure you put gas in the car. Rather than just letting me do what I want with the gas money. I mean, you gave it to me and only $5 and I was taking your kids to school I mean, taking your kids, picking your kids up from school every day. So, the foster mom waited till after those foster, all the foster boys were cleared out and gone to use it against me and throw it in my face during an argument and falsely accuse me of molesting them. And it's like, why do they keep doing this to me? But I didn't realize that was part of the gang stalking. You know, when I got into an argument with them, because if I truly was molesting those kids, y'all, that's something serious. I would have been locked up a long time ago. The foster sister Shelly used to gaslight me and play all kinds of psychological games and um, steal my money and then blame it on the foster boy, Nick, or steal my Aaliyah CDs and blame it on the foster boy, Nick, or, or I mean, blame it on the foster boy, Richard. You know, I just been through like so much, you know, and I didn't, I didn't realize these satanic people that they do this because they're mad because I didn't co don't conform or I didn't give in to joining whatever. But back then, nobody really approached me to join anything, and I'm glad that they didn't. I'm glad that I found out the truth before I blindly would have given in and you know sold out and. Because I could not picture myself perfect, an innocent person. 
especially if I know what it's like to be a targeted individual. But some people, I guess the offer is too big to refuse. And that's why they t- targets who they, I mean, they, they wait till I'm at rock bottom. And that's when they try to approach me with an offer to join them. Join the Illuminati or join the um, whatever gang stalking cult. And I'm like, no. I'm trying to do this on my own. I'm like trying to survive on my own. Trying to work on my own without them. And when I do, oh, you're scamming people. So I just had to vent. Because I didn't want that to be boggling my mind at work today. You know, it was on my mind this morning, you know, against my will. So my storage space is probably running out and time, I mean, I don't think I, it's not, it's not time for me to go to work yet, but I don't have time to do the little laundry that I need to do. So let me go for now. Oh, okay. The, oh, 